Hi, Mike Collinson here again with another update. And uh, a big thank you to all my subscribers. I've just realized that in the last uh, last couple of days, I've, um, I've passed a thousand subscribers. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks to everyone. It's not really the amount, though, that, uh, that matters most to me. It's the um, it's the interaction and uh, and all the friends I've made through this um, YouTube channel. Uh, friends, really, in uh, most of them I'll never meet, um, but I, a lot of them I feel I know very well indeed. Uh, so I'd like to say just a big thanks to everybody who, who watches this and uh, and to all new subscribers as well. And uh, anyway, uh, just a couple of things to uh, to update you on, and um, I'll. Uh, I'll catch up with you all again. Last Monday we had a huge storm blow through northern France and Brittany here. Uh, it reached 193 uh, kilometers an hour, or which is equivalent to 120 mile an hour. And uh, I was a bit lucky really, uh, apart from a couple of broken chairs in the garden. Uh, but what I really was lucky was this uh, tree that come down just beside my uh, shed that I built last year. It's a huge thing. It's uh, it must be 50 foot tall. As you can see, it's just but just missed the side of the shed. Uh, showing you here the other side of it here. It um it, in actual fact it looks like it's it's two trees. Um, and uh, as I say, it must be it must be 50 foot tall at least. Lucky or what? What is really amazing to me though is where the uh, tree has grown from. Uh, it's just come straight out of a rock. Uh, it's just like uh, the root is just like a, a giant hand that was that's wrapped around the rock. You can, you can just see here the um, where the rock is clean and around it is vegetation. And that's all the thickness of the root. How can a 50 foot tree that must have been there for probably 50 years uh, grow out of such a thing? Uh, I just don't know where it gets its nutrients from. Um, absolutely amazing. And just one last thing before I leave. Uh, you can see the little chicken window above my garage. Uh, it's an empty space there, so this is going to be my next project. Uh, looking into the back end of the garage here, uh, you can see my collection of wood on the side from a fire. But in the right hand side, I'm going to be cutting out the joists and I'm going to be putting a staircase up through here. Uh, to gain access to the uh, to the, the the space above it, uh, it um, it probably end up being used as a um, maybe an office. Um, I may uh, I may do my videos up here. It'll all need uh, plasterboard now to the, the the floor making good. Uh, but as you can see, there's there's quite a quite a reasonable amount of room up here. Um, the uh, all the the ceiling it's already been lagged. Uh, it needs plasterboard, and obviously, uh, that's in the corner there where the stairs have come up. And um, here, there's just full of. Oh, there's my cat uh, asleep on the old bed that was left by her previous occupants. Um, but there's a there's a window at the at the window at the front, uh, and there's another Bellux window at the back. Here she is, fast asleep. Um, and uh, this is my uh, this is my next project. So. Uh, Look forward to seeing some videos of, uh, first of all, me making a staircase and, uh, and then gradually doing the, uh, doing the conversion of the room above it. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, nice chatting to you all and uh, see you all again. Bye bye.